take your practice to the next level with our Boho Beautiful official app. Your number one stop for an entire exclusive library of yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and so much more. Download it today in the App Store. Welcome to beautiful Barbados. We are here today in a magnificent field of palm trees with a yoga practice that will allow you to embark on a journey of self-discovery and inner expansion. Today we will explore a series of transformative asanas designed to open up our hearts and cultivate flexibility in the spine. Back bends not only help us release tension stored in the back and shoulders, but also encourage us to embrace vulnerability and trust in the process of unfolding. So whether you're a seasoned yogi or a beginner, this practice will challenge you and provide modifications so you can mold the flow and postures with care and attention. So with that said, if you're ready to breathe, stretch, and open up to the limitless possibilities of your practice, grab your mat and let's begin. Today's video is brought to you by Aura Health. Life can throw curveballs at us. And a few months ago, I found myself struggling with sleepless nights and overwhelming stress due to unexpected events. My usual go-to tools like yoga and meditation were helpful, but sometimes we all need just a little bit more support. Aura Health offers a vast content library taught by hundreds of coaches and therapists from around the world, making it your one-stop destination for mental wellness. In our fast-paced lives, it allows you to restore your mental well-being right from the comfort of your home or wherever you are. Aura Health offers mindfulness, meditations, sleep tracks, life coaching, cognitive behavioral therapy, breath work, hypnosis, prayer, and so much more. And with over 7 million users, you can trust that it really works. Aura curates recommendations based on your unique needs, just like a Spotify playlist tailored to your music taste. So if you're ready to start your journey to well-being, I can't recommend Aura enough. You can get started with Aura Health today for free. And if you're one of the first 500 people to use my link, you'll also enjoy an exclusive 25% discount plus a free trial of the Aura membership. Visit AuraHealth.io slash Boho Beautiful or simply click the link in the video description below. Thank you once again, Aura, for supporting this channel today. But now let's get back to our practice, grab your mat, and let's begin. Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me here today for this yoga practice. Let's begin by coming over to the back of our mat, feet together, knees together. Close your eyes and go ahead and just take a deep breath in, reaching both of our arms up to the sky, palms together, and then as you exhale, slowly release all the way forward into your child's pose, resting your forehead on the mat, reaching your fingertips to the front of your mat just taking this moment to come into your body. Feel free to add a little gentle rock side to side if that feels good for you. And then slowly rolling forward all the way until you can dip your hips all the way down, lifting up into upward facing dog. Exhale, round the spine, come back to child's pose. Inhale, come forward and lift those thighs off the mat. Exhale, child's pose again. Continuing with this fluid motion, rounding through, upward facing dog. Exhale, bend your knees and release, child's pose. Inhale, come forward, upward facing dog. And then from here, as you exhale, push into your hands, lift your hips, come into downward facing dog. Our very first downward dog, so let's give the body a little bit of time to release any tension. Walk out your downward dog by bending one knee at a time, adding lots of movement into the shoulders if you can or if you want to. And then taking a deep breath in in this downward dog. Exhale, round forward into high plank position. Bend your elbows coming through chaturanga, upward facing dog once again. And then tuck your left toes under, keep your right toes pointed. Go ahead and push into downward dog, but with your right leg lifted up into your three-legged dog. Inhale back to upward dog. 
Exhale, three-legged dog with right leg up. Come through, plank, drop your hips, upward dog. Exhale, push and kick that right leg up, downward dog. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward three-legged dog. Great, inhale, plank, chaturanga. And let's extend once again, upward dog. Exhale, release into your downward facing dog. Finding stillness just for a breath in. And a long exhalation out. Let's flow it through, come back into plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Tuck your right toes underneath. Left leg lifts up into your three-legged dog. And then drop the leg, drop your hips, upward dog. So quick transition here between your three-legged dog and all the way down, upward dog, good. Your right toe stay grounded on the mat. We're just working with that left leg, kicking the left leg up into three-legged dog as high as you're comfortable. And then come back down with your hips, upward dog. Good, and then release back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, flow it through into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog once again. Awesome, my friends. Lift the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway, exhale, forward fold. Slight bend in the knees, now begin to roll up vertebra by vertebra, reaching both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands into heart, samastiti. Open up your feet slightly, about hip width apart. And then from here, reach both arms up. And then exhale, taking your forward fold by reaching your peace fingers for your two big toes. And then with your exhale, releasing as far as you're comfortable. So really thinking about allowing your belly to come close to your thighs or the knees, your forehead to come down, allowing your head to be heavy, maybe even rocking a little bit side to side, if that feels good. And then slight bend in the knees, releasing your toes, standing up tall, arms reach back up to the sky, and then heel toe your feet a little bit further apart now, and then slowly come all the way down into your yogic squat, Malasana. This time your feet are about the edges of the mat. Allow your hips to come down. Use your elbows to push the knees apart. Palms of your hands together. And just hold here, take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Good, another deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands. Lift the hips, heel toe your feet together, and then bending your knees, placing your hands flat on the floor, coming to crow, knees on top of your triceps. Do your best to try to lift your both feet off the mat, holding here, balancing, or even just practicing by lifting one foot at a time if needed. And then to transition, you're going to step or hop right into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat. Halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up tall, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands and samastiti in front of you. Inhale, reach back up again. This time allow your hips to fall forward as you take a gentle back bend looking towards the back of your mat going as far as you're comfortable, interlacing your fingers and index fingers pointing up to the sky or to the back of your mat. And then release right over to forward fold. Halfway up, exhale, step back into high plank position, chaturanga, upward facing dog. And then as you exhale, lift and release into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, Lift the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat. Halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up tall, reach both arms up. And exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart, Samastiti. Let's do that again. 
Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Push the pelvis forward. Interlace your fingers except your index fingers. Arch and open up through your back bend. Keep reaching, keep reaching. Exhale, release all the way into your forward fold. Halfway up. Exhale, hop or step back into plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come through into high plank. And then slowly release yourself all the way down. Bending both knees, grabbing your ankles, preparing ourselves for our bow pose. Flex your feet. And then from here, begin to lift up and reach. Point your toes or flex, whatever is good. Just do your best to try not let the knees separate too much. So bring those legs as close as you can. Keep lifting, keep lifting, keep lifting. And drop it down. Awesome. Inhale. Exhale. Come back up. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale. Let's lift the heels. Hop to the front of your mat. Halfway. Exhale. Fold. Stand up tall. Reach up to the sky. And exhale. Hands at your heart. Inhale. Reach up. Interlace those fingers, index fingers pointing to the back of your mat. Arch and open up. Push the pelvis forward. And then release all the way into your forward fold. Halfway. Exhale, step or hop into high plank position. Take your flow, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, lengthening through the spine and then dropping down to your knees. Coming into our camel pose at this time. So one variation is to do it with one hand only. So right hand to your right heel. Other hand comes into your yana mudra. Or you can do the full camel by bringing both hands to your heels, pushing the pelvis forward, and then extend and throw your head all the way back. Noticing this nice arch, this opening through your body, through your chest center. And then keep pushing the hips forward. Keep looking back. A beautiful camel pose. Really open up that heart. To come out, bring your hands to your sacrum, your lower back first. Sit back over to your heels and then round out the spine through your child's pose. Arms reaching to the front of your mat, inhale. Exhale, just sit here for a moment, enjoying this counter pose. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Simply stay here for a moment, paying attention to your breath, the inhalation and the exhalation. Checking in with how your body is feeling in this moment. Where do you feel the restriction? Where do you feel the space that has started to be created? Just check in how your body is feeling so far. Let's take another deep breath in. And then on your next exhale, we're going to begin to roll forward once again, vertebra by vertebra, and meet an upward facing dog with your knees and thighs off the mat if you can. Let's come through, drop your hips, lift and open into upward dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog, beautiful. Lift the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front, halfway, exhale, fold, inhale, lift and stand up, exhale, samastiti, inhale, lift up, open up, interlace your fingers, index fingers pointing to the back of your mat, keep arching, keep opening, go a little further, 
exhale dive forward into your forward fold inhale halfway exhale step or hop right into chaturanga upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog inhale lift the heels bend your knees hop to the front cross your ankles and land in a seated position coming into our boat pose lift the feet off the floor Hold here and with control, slowly lower your spine all the way onto the mat. Bring your knees in and then plant your feet onto the floor, lifting up into our bridge. We're going to start with our bridge. And then, of course, we're going to take it up a notch with a full wheel, but I leave that up to you. If you are going to do a full wheel, plant the palms of your hands over and flat on the floor. Lift into a full wheel. If this is too intense for you today, just remain in your bridge and think about lifting the pelvis as high as you possibly can. So two different variations for you guys. Listen to your body. Do what's right for you. Keep lifting your hips up to the sky. If you're in a full wheel, really open up through that heart center here. Open up through the shoulders. Keep lifting as if somebody's pulling your belly button up to the sky. And then once you're ready to release in full wheel, first drop onto your shoulders. Everyone comes together in a bridge and then vertebra by vertebra come down with your spine. Hug your knees into the chest, a quick little counter pose. Take a ball position. You can gently rock side to side just to massage the spine a little bit. Inhale. And then exhale, releasing into our final asana, our corpse pose, or shavasana. This is a moment where we allow everything to settle. All of this work that you did through your back bends. Now we allow all of that energy, all of it to settle in. To ground you into yourself, into this present moment. And simply focus on the inhalation and exhalation while you allow your body to fully surrender to the earth below you. Inhaling deeply. And then as you exhale, visualizing yourself become heavier and heavier. Seeing yourself being held by the floor, by the earth underneath the floor held by Mother Earth. Just allow yourself to be in this moment. If you'd like to stay in the Shavasana for much longer, feel free to pause the video now. Otherwise, if you're ready to come out, just add some movement to your fingers and toes. And then gently at your own pace, roll yourself to one side and meet me in a cross-legged seated position on your mat. Good. Take a deep breath in. Go ahead. Reach both arms up to the sky. And then exhale. Bring your hands over to your heart center. Bowing down to your heart center in gratitude for your beautiful practice today. Thank you so much for joining me here in beautiful Barbados. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. It was shocking to me. I was only like 27 and, and you know, I had my regular job yeah. at like downtown in the financial district. And then in my private life on Saturday, like all these people are coming for <laughs> <laughs> like psychic sessions and psychic So I was doing hands-on healing, psychic surgery, wow. uh, channeling. Wow. And the people that were coming were like, I like, I'm completely different. Like everything you did was permanent. Like, I don't know what's going wow. on. And I was like, I know what's going on. I, I can't describe it to you, but I know that what you're saying is true. Yeah. Because I had so many near death experiences, I knew where to send mm. everything that was being released. Hmm. It was back directly to the source. It wasn't to the spirit world, it wasn't to an angel. It was like, we're going to the light of God now.